That's going to be your line segment, so we have to tell the computer to draw a line from there to there. So how are we going to do that? Well, since we get a corresponding y value for each x value, we're going to use a simple for loop. And the variable in the for loop that's going to be incremented, we're going to call x. So integer x, okay? Then we're going to say, obviously the, the for loop has to run from some value to some value. And that value, as you can see over here, is going to be the beginning of the line's x value to the end of the line's x value. So if this was 5 and this was 10, our for loop is going to start at x is equal to 5 um, to 10. And it's going to run whatever's whatever you want it to run in between the begin and the end. Changing the value of x 5 to 6 to 7 to 8 to 9 to 10 and then end the line. But as you might know, we're not going to keep on drawing lines that are only going to start at x is 5 and end at x is 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to the corresponding values of our points. So it'll be from for x is equal to x a to x b, right? So it's going to run from this value up to that value. Okay, so now we have a for loop that's going to run from where our lines x begins and where our lines x ends. So we can say put pixel at x, which is going to be incremented each time, and at y. But we don't know what y is yet. And that's simple to find out because we know that the line formula is y equals to mx plus c, right? So all we have to do is say y is equal to m times x plus c. We know what x is. It's this value that gets incremented the whole time. But how do we know what m and c is? You have two points of a line and if you have two points you can work out the gradient and you can work out the y cut. Our gradient formula is obviously m is equal to y1 minus y2 divided by x1 minus x2. And what is y1 and y2? That's just your two points. So it will be ya and yb, xa and xb. That will give you m. So how do we find c? Well, that's just a, a rearranged equation of y equals mx plus c. So we want c on its own. So we're going to take the mx across to that side. Minus mx is equal to c. So, what you're going to do if you want to draw a line is you're going to first get the m of uh, using the two points, then you're going to get the c, and then you're just going to run a loop. And what that loop's going to do is it's going to first make the x coordinate of your first pixel, and then it's going to work out the corresponding y coordinate. And then it's going to put the pixel there. Then it's going to go to the next x coordinate of your next pixel. Okay, so now we can work out um, the C and the M. And in other words, if we had to just output to text instead of onto a screen, you basically have a calculator to calculate a point on a line when you give it an X. Um, but we have a problem that we can't directly just give it an x and it'll give us the proper y because to make a infinitely smooth line with pixels you'll have to have infinitely small pixels because obviously a line doesn't just have one x coordinate for every say unit there's you can divide that in half you can divide that in half again and again and you can continue doing that and it'll just get finer and finer and finer but what we have to do is we have to round it off to pixels. So if I can quickly draw a few boxes here, we'll somehow use a time lapse. Okay. If we want to draw a line that runs across 
over here like that we can't fill half a pixel it's either the pixel has to be on or the pixel has to be off it can't be half full or cut in half or anything like that so what we do if we as humans want to make a pixelated line is we draw a line across here and all we do is we fill in all the blocks that the line touches and it won't ever be more than one block so we're just going to fill in this block and this block and this block and you'll see that that forms a line um, that looks like a computer drew it with pixels let's just quickly unfold these so our problem now is how do we let the computer know whether it's on a block or not we don't have to let it know all we do is we round our numbers so um, because we know that we're going to get certain y values at certain points obviously our first pixel is going to be over here our second pixel is going to be over here and so on when we get our answer for y equals mx plus c all we do is we call the round function round y there and with this rounding um, we're obviously going to give it a x value which will be over here over here over here and so on and it'll just round that value down so see here it's still below halfway across the pixel uh, very much so and so it's going to flatline this answer for this pixel to over here so now it's easy okay we fill in this pixel if we continue with that okay this one needs to be rounded up so its answer will be there we fill in this pixel and then this one will be rounded down this one will be rounded up this one will be rounded down up down up now we just fill in the pixels where we told it to fill it in and you'll see we get our line again um, the, the only reason this line isn't uh, to say one pixel down like mine was is that I'm not drawing my original line um, starting in the middle of the pixels where it should be okay I drew mine at the bottom of the pixel but uh, don't worry about that you, you see that it still works the basic concept of it okay so you guys can go ahead and open Delphi if you want to uh, or you can just follow I mean it's, it's not that big of a deal uh, we start off with an empty form obviously all we're going to do is we're going to add a picture and this will be the canvas we're going to draw our lines and things on that's all we need for now let's test our line formula now for Delphi if you want to put a pixel on a object for example this image um, to test that let's quickly say uh, what is this what's this image called it's called image one okay so we're going to say image one dot canvas and the canvas enables you to draw things on it dot pixel and there there's your function you have your put pixel function it's an array of pixels so you're going to say square bracket and uh, let's put a pixel on that um, image that we put there at um, x is equal to 20 and y is equal to 40 okay and we're going to say is cl black there and um, now let's just quickly save this in products and we'll call this easy engine so, okay we play this it should oh so I'm so used to C++ okay and um, okay that's, that's obviously too tiny to see in, in my recorder but it has put a pixel right over there on this white canvas great so now we can put a pixel down on the screen let's put our um, let's put our line drawing theory to test we're going to draw a simple line from the left to the right so we're going to say let's just quickly declare our variable here integer well, um, we'll call it x just for simplicity sake and let's say integer and we're going to say 4x is equal to um, let's start at 20 to 30 
to begin and then we put our end over here just to close it and then now we're going to code everything in between the begin and end so now it's just going to loop from 20 to 30 and we're going to keep the y value at 40 and we're just going to change this 20 which is our x to x Uh, okay, let's make that a little bit more. It actually has drawn a little line there, but just make this to 300. And you can see there, it has now put down a straight line on that canvas um, to the value of 300 minus 20 pixels, obviously, because it only started at 20 over there. Um, now let's draw a line that goes diagonally downwards. So now all we do is we're just going to change the y value into the x value as well and that means that for every x that it goes down it'll go oh, for every x that it goes left it'll go one y down and we'll get a perfectly diagonal line running across the screen if we run this again right there you can see that now say we want to make that steeper all we're going to do is we're going to say that is two times the value of x which is obviously corresponding to the m value in the y equals mx plus c formula. Uh, oh, wait, there's a times thing there. And you'll see that that's even steeper. So, let's now make a program where we give it two coordinates on a Cartesian plane and it'll draw us the line from those two points. Okay, so we have our canvas here and um, what we're going to do so I actually recorded this part and then my computer gave up on me because it only had 200 megabytes left of hard drive space. Um, I don't actually know where it went into, but I cleared something up. And um, our program to draw the line is basically almost done. All that I did is I added a few variables here. I said XA, XB, YA, YB, and a temporary X variable. You'll see why I have that one just now. So, what you're going to do is you're going to put YA, YB in, XA, XB in. Re replace all the little numbers and stuff with, with just the variables. And then, for example, all we have to do is we're going to say XA is equal to 30. Um, the second X, the second point's X coordinate is then equal to 70. So, putting in random numbers here, the first Y coordinate is equal to 20 second y coordinate is equal to let's make it 10 now if we run this it'll draw us a line right there from the point that i gave it to the second point that i gave it um, and this line drawing formula or uh, algorithm that i have here works very well for simple lines that are under 45 degrees in gradient and you'll see that we're going to run into a problem here and we can show you what the problem is the first one is that we always have to run the loop from a smaller value to a larger value um, in other programming languages I think Python you don't need to but you can actually increment x minus 1 so it'll go from a high value to a lower value but not in Delphi so we have to quickly get around that problem and the easiest way we're going to do that is we're going to check. We're going to say if the first x, xa, is bigger than the second x, xb, then begin. We're going to say we're just going to swap them around. So we're going to say x temporary is equal to xa, xa is equal to xb, and xb is equal to x temporary end and with that we can now change this x value into 70 and we can change this one into 30 and the line will still work it'll still be drawn because it's just going to swap the x values around to make sure that the for loop still runs